Welcome back to Franchise TV on his YouTube channel, I'll unbox anything. So today, I've got one of the Grail of Grail comics that exist in the world. So from the picture, the title, you probably already know what I bought. Kind of. So one of my absolute grail comics that I want to own someday financially, I don't know if it's ever going to be possible, but I would love to have Amazing Fantasy number 15, the first appearance of Spider-Man. Even like a 1.0 sells now for close to $18,000, which is actually cheaper than what it was a couple years ago. A couple years ago, 1.0 was going for like twenty dollars to $25,000 for like a 1.0 copy, which is a copy that has a lot of problems with it. Almost $18,000, $20,000 for one comic. That sets a lot of people back a lot of money. So I've been trying to kind of quench my appetite to finally obtain Amazing Fantasy number 15, the first Spider-Man. And I said, you know what? Let me just get a piece to start with to kind of like quench my thirst for a copy. So I say, you know what, let me check eBay. Let me see on eBay if anybody's selling just like loose pages of that comic, you know, graded CDC pages. And through my research, I found out that Amazing Fantasy number 15, if I remember correctly, only the first six pages feature Spider-Man. The other pages feature a story of the mummy and something else. So if you get loose pages, you pretty much, you want one of the first six pages that actually has Spider-Man on the pages. So what did I do? Went on eBay, found one at auction, waited the seven days for it to end, and I got it for actually under the going market value because I'm seeing most just a, a single page, page one through six, usually sell for $1,500. I've seen buy it nows go as high as 2,000, but on average I'd say, a good price for a single page, a page from the comic, on average, 1500 or so, 1500 And I got this for under market value. I was patient, waited till the very end of the auction, put in my max bid. Okay, that was kind of funny. I was unboxing it, I opened it up, and this was in it, Strange Academy number one. And I was like, oops, I grabbed the wrong box to open up. Let's try that again. At first I was like, what? Mentally, like I literally had to stop the video because I was like, what in the world just happened? I grabbed the wrong box. Sometimes when you buy a lot of stuff, boxes are kind of like the same shape. Sometimes you grab the wrong one. That just happened. Because that Strange Academy, I think I paid like $250 for that one. I think it was. Something like that. Um, from Comics Elite on Instagram. So the price difference between that and this one's a pretty big price difference. Ew, we got vacuum peanuts, but that's okay. That's okay. It'll help protect the comic. I just have a a uh, a personal vendetta against packing peanuts. Here we go. You ready for this? I have actually have never held a Man's of Fantasy number 15. Oh, no. Yeah, no, I haven't. No. No, I haven't, actually. I had to think back. I'm like, have I ever held one at a convention? Because I've had a few chances to actually, like, hold one. And I'm always like, oh, don't let me touch it. 2.5 CGC. If I drop it, I don't want to. You ready for this? That is awesome. So, yes, I have a piece, I have a part of Amazing Fantasy number 15. I've got page number four, the first appearance of Spider-Man. So this is like my entry level to actually owning a comic someday. I mean, my is to own Amazing Fantasy number 15. I don't know when that's going to be. I'm, I'd have to sell a lot of my personal collection or trade, but I figured this is a good starting point, and I got this for like a little over a thousand dollars. I think it was like 1100, 1132, something like that. It was below the going rate, so I was happy with that. So, front page, you actually have a nice spread of Spider Man on the page 
showing some web slinging skills. In the back of it, you have an advertisement on the back of that one for the home training plan and air conditioning and refrigeration, which is kind of funny. So yeah, I mean, a lot of people, whenever I told my wife that I bought this for like a little over a thousand dollars, she thought I was crazy. And I was like, honey, understand like this, this, yes, it's not the actual comic, the full comic, but this is a piece of it. This is a, a page from the comic. And to me, this is good enough to now to hold me over until I can finally secure a copy someday. Did I actually buy Amazing Fantasy number 15? Yes, I did. Page four. <laughs> but hey, I'm so excited about this. Just to own this, I'm I'm very excited about this. Am I crazy for spending a little over $1,000 for a one page? Comment down below. Am I crazy? Or am I just a collector who really wanted to own a piece of this comic? Someday I will own it. So, I'm just going to say it. Someday I'm going to own this comic. I'm going to have to move some things around. Sell some of my collections. But someday I will own it. But this will hold me over for the time being. And I'm happy with this. This is awesome. Page four, the very first appearance of Spider-Man. Mm -hmm. 